Let's talk about the Lakers beating the Pelicans. They get through to the they get through to the playoffs. I mean the game I was I was worried because the Pelicans did make a run and Zion was going off for like 40 points and then he left injured. But we had just beaten the Pelicans earlier that week and we beat them pretty convincingly. So going into the game, I wasn't too worried, to be honest. During the game, it looked like we had a big advantage and it, it was gonna be more of the same as the two days prior. But not gonna lie, I did get a little spooked, I did get a little scared. But in the end, you know, with LeBron and AD not having their best game, we still got the dub. The others put in a good good showing. Like D'Lo had that clutch three from the corner to keep the lead. Um, Austin Reeves towards the end, he scored most of his points towards the end when um, AD and LeBron were kind of hurting. AD got a huge board that was important. It was it was just it was good. They showed um, resiliency to close that game out after letting go of the rope and allowing the Pelicans to come in. But um, let's just talk about the next round. I'm going to do an episode talking about my predictions for the first round after this these Friday games conclude. And we know who the eight seeds are on both conferences. But I'll say this. I don't believe that the Lakers have a 0% chance against the Nuggets. Like, I, I just don't believe that. I think last year in the playoffs, the Lakers surprised a lot of people going to the Western Conference Finals. And then we played the Nuggets tough. All four games, yeah, they did sweep us. They did sweep us. But all those games, for the most part, came down to the last few minutes. And, I mean, they showed showed out better than us. But D'Lo was having a terrible, terrible series. I think he shot like 20-something percent from three or something. Maybe even lower. Maybe he was like in the 18s. And he scored like six points a game or something like that. Something ridiculous. So I think we have a better supporting cast. Or maybe not better, but more productive. Uh, So I guess better. I think our supporting cast has been doing better this year a little bit. And AD looks more fresh. And I think the big takeaway is that there's two days in between games instead of one. And it's early in the playoffs. So AD and LeBron could be a little more fresh. Obviously, I do understand that, you know, the Nuggets are defending champions. And they look like a juggernaut when they really, you know, get focused and try, which they will do in the playoffs. So it's going to be a big task to ask the Lakers to upset them in the first round. But anything can happen. And if LeBron shoots the three like he's been shooting the three this whole season, I mean, I'm just saying anything can happen. Overall, good win for the Lakers. And I'll say this. There's another thing that pisses me off that I'll get off my chest. You know, good win against the Pelicans. We'll see how they do against the Nuggets. I hope they, you know, make it a series. Lakers in seven, low-key. A little teaser to my picks on Friday. But, um... The people, there's a lot of casuals, dude. Like, we're in year three of the NBA, and people still don't know how the play-in works. And then, also, because people don't know how the play-in works, they try to take shots at the Lakers and LeBron. Because LeBron has this clip where he was like, whoever invented the play-in is, like, the dumbest person ever. And because LeBron has been in the play-in, they think that he benefits from it. So he's like, bro, like, what are you talking about? How is it the worst... How is it playing the worst thing ever if it's helped you out every single year? Well, here's how, you dumbasses. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here's how, you ignorant people. Before, in the playoffs, the 1 through 8 seed will make the playoffs. Easy as that. 1 through 8, you're in. 1 plays 8, 2 plays 7, 3 plays 6, 4 plays 5. Easy. Now, because of the playing, only 1 through 6 get in automatically. 7, 8, 9, 10, got to play an extra game or two, depending how it plays out. Here's how it doesn't benefit LeBron. LeBron has always finished in the 7th or 8th spot. So in the old NBA, he would have been in the playoffs automatically. He wouldn't have to play this extra game. Now, he has to play this extra game because of the playing. You guys would have been correct. You guys would have been right if LeBron got into the playoffs as a ninth or 10th seed. Then you could say, okay, this has helped you because... In the past, those spots would have been in Cancun already. They would have been gone. They would have been in their couch watching the game. But he hasn't. He hasn't been in those seeds. He hasn't been a ninth or tenth seed. He's been a uh, eight or I mean a seven or eight seed, which in the old NBA would have made the playoffs automatically. So just read up on that and stop talking because I see a lot of comments talking shit. 